today was a nice change of pace as far as we didn't really see any snowfall. We didn't see any, in fact, and temperatures, well, right on target where we should be for this time of the year. We were right on mark as far as the normal high for this time of the year. 30 degrees over that low was down to 18. Not too bad. And what I really like, look at the sunset. No, it's still in the fours, but 443 doing a little bit better. Now, speaking of snow, well, yeah, if you may have noticed, we've gotten a lot lately, and in fact, way more than what we saw last year. Last year was almost the winter that wasn't. Well, yesterday we did pick up just over two inches. So far for the month of December, 18.2 inches, and for the month of normal is 17.8. So we're just above the normal for this time of year as far as the month. But overall, we were running just about two inches below average, which, hey, isn't bad, because look at this from last year. At this point last year, we only had just over seven inches of snow and overall the season by this point on just under 10 inches. So we're doing much better and I'm sure all of you ski lovers, snow lovers are absolutely loving that. So let's take a look at our satellite and radar. We do have a lot of clouds around. We did see some peaks of sunshine, very limited at times today. And for tonight, we will be seeing those clouds really take over the night pretty much. I don't anticipate seeing any stars for the ball, you know, for New Year's Eve, besides, you know, the ball dropping, that's always a fun thing to see. Now, you see, as you take a look off to the west, there is some snow showers working its way into our region. I mentioned before a cold front that is just off to the west, and that will be dropping over us by tomorrow morning. Now, not a lot of moisture associated with this. The bulk of the moisture is down to the south, and it will remain down there as well. So. The biggest threat with this is behind this is when we will start to see some lake effect and that will be off and on pretty much for the next couple of days. But for tonight, I do anticipate seeing some light snow flurries, but nothing really too major. I'm not anticipating any like three, four, five inches. None of that. Probably just about an inch at the most, maybe two in the higher elevations. But otherwise, things should be pretty good. Going into tonight, you can see the blue around. That's mostly lake effect, especially by tomorrow. Temperatures will be starting off into the lower 20s. Very chilly day for tomorrow. The winds will be per pretty perky as well. Temperatures only getting up to about the mid 20s. So a very chilly, a very chilly way to ring in the new year. And then overnight, look at this. We have lows dipping down into the teens. And then by Wednesday night into Thursday, we could be seeing single digits. So yeah, winter is most definitely here. And with that, you can see by Wednesday, we start to get into some drier air, but still some clouds. And again, this is mostly lake effect. So we'll be seeing those off and on pretty much throughout the week, but nowhere near as snowy as it was last week. So that's, a, that's, a, that's pretty good. You know, we get a little bit of a, of a break. So your midnight forecast for New Year's Eve, we will be seeing mostly cloudy skies, very chilly though, temperatures into the upper 20s, some light snow showers as possible, especially after the ball drops. So when you're heading home from your festivities for tonight, from any parties or bars, just make sure you have the heads up on that. The roads, you know, might get a little slick, so just be careful, especially if you've been having a pretty good time. And then for tomorrow, temperatures will be right around those mid to upper 20s. Not a very warm day at all. I'm feeling quite chilly. Lake effects, no showers, otherwise mostly cloudy skies. And then for the rest of the week, the first week of the new year, it's going to be a cold one. We could see some more lake effect snow showers on Wednesday, but not a whole lot. About 25 degrees in those overnight lows. Look at that. We are down to the single digits Wednesday night into Thursday. Nine degrees is your low. On Thursday, things look fairly dry for right now, but cold. You will most likely, I'm guessing, struggle to even hit that 20 degree mark. I'm optimistic at the 22 overnight low 11 and then by what by Friday we will have another quick clipper that could give us a, more, so a couple more show, snow showers Friday and Saturday but the end of the weekend so far looks pretty dry.